They stole it from me. They stole it. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Mark Searles uh, here in the NBC10 Weather Center. Sorry for the interruption into Ellen. We'll get you right back to Ellen here momentarily. It's been a pretty active afternoon of weather force. Strongest of Mom, dinosaurs only eat meat. Actually, the biggest dinos only ate plants. And Country Croc is made with plants. Country Croc has always been made with the goodness of plants. It has real simple ingredients and that same country fresh taste you love. Welcome to Croc Country. Out of sunscreen, going on a target run. Need anything? Watermelon. Water, please. <laughs> and soda. Grandpa. Got it. Get everyday low prices on everyday essentials. Target run and done. Introducing new Paradontax, the toothpaste that helps prevent bleeding gums. If you spit blood when you brush or floss, you may have gum problems and could be on the journey to much worse. Help stop the journey of gum disease. Try new Paradontax toothpaste. What's the best way to get two servings of veggies? V8 or a powdered drink? Ready? Go. Done. You gotta shake it. I shake it. Glad I had a V8. The original way to fuel your day. When you're close to the people you love, does psoriasis ever get in the way of a touching moment? If you have moderate to severe psoriasis, you can embrace the chance of completely clear skin with TALTS. TALTS is proven to give you a chance at completely clear skin. With TALTS, up to 90% of patients had a significant improvement of their psoriasis plaques. In fact, 4 out of 10 even achieved completely clear skin. Do not use if you are allergic to TALTS. Before starting, you should be checked for tuberculosis. TALTS may increase your risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Tell your doctor if you are being treated for an infection or have symptoms, or if you have received a vaccine or plan to. Inflammatory bowel disease can happen with TALTS, including worsening of symptoms. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Now's your chance at completely clear skin. Just ask your doctor about TALTS. Hi, everyone. Mark Souls back with you now uh, with an update on our after, active afternoon of weather here across southern New England. Central parts of Bristol County, Mass, really from between Fall River and Taunton. Look at that cluster of thunderstorms and lightning strikes. Providence County, more action here in eastern Connecticut. That's about to move into the Foster area, Coventry and West Greenwich. You may be experiencing some uh, heavy weather coming through here as well. Here's the loop, and you can see, again, South County and Southern Bristol County Mass been in the clear. You could see those storms, those to uh, towering clouds off to the north. But these storms firing up and continuing to very slowly move off to the east, maybe a, a drift to the east southeast at about 20 miles per hour. So we'll start here again between Taunton and Fall River. A severe thunderstorm warning for this cell for another few minutes uh, and a flash flood warning dropping a tremendous amount of water in this humid environment that we have over southern New England. Uh, so travel real difficult underneath this. A Route 140 in particular as you go between New Bedford and up into the Taunton area. Slow travel. Here at northern parts of Rhode Island, we're talking Pawtucket, uh, just south of Cumberland, Lincoln, Smithfield. Heavy, heavy rain with this as well. That's moving into the Attleboro and Seekonk area. You've already been hit once. You'll catch that again. And then again, that next cell, which is moving into uh, eastern Connecticut and about to cross the Rhode Island line as well. Slow moving storms, of course, are being fueled by this high humidity. The dew points in the mid 70s across southern New England right now. So everybody under the flash flood watch for the potential for some flash flooding occurring on the roadways. The area underneath these yellow boxes, these are those severe thunderstorm warnings. Again, that's for northern Rhode Island up into uh, the uh, Attleboro. So that'll go until about 4.45 p.m. And this one out here into southeastern Mass, that's until about 4.45 p.m. as well. Underneath it, that brighter green you see, that's a flash flood warning where there's some flash flooding occurring. Our Jared Pelletier has been tweeting out uh, on his Twitter account some flash flooding that he saw in the Smithfield area a little while ago. So slow travel over the next couple of hours. After 9 p.m., 9 or 10 o'clock, these storms lose their punch. The sun has set, the fuel for it has gone away, so we should quiet down at around 9 or 10 p.m. But we'll see another round of showers and storms. So coming up tonight on NBC10 News at 5, I'll talk about the best timing for when these showers and storms may occur again tomorrow. Also, I'll clue you in on a little bit of a drier air mass moving in on Friday, but drier doesn't necessarily mean no rain. It means lower humidity. So there's lots to talk about. We'll wrap all this up. We've got our crews out there and give you a heads up on the travel conditions here for these next couple of hours. So we'll keep you updated on NBC 10. Join us first thing right off the top at 5 p.m. for an update on your forecast. We'll get you back to Ellen right now.